Now at 5.30, a Riverside business is pleading for help to identify burglars that broke into their business twice over the last month. Good evening. This is the KTLA 5 News at 530. I'm Cher Calvin. And I'm Pedro Rivera. Surveillance video shows that thieves smashed through the glass doors of the antique and collectible store back in February, then again last Friday. They stole high-end valuables and some rare movie props that were on display inside. KTLA 5 Shelby Nelson joins us live in Riverside with more on the burglaries and reaction from the business owners. Shelby. Yeah, Sheriff Pedro, what a major loss it has been for this business owner who says she is now having to refund customers who purchased items online. Those items are now stolen. She believes that one of the suspects came into her business about a month before the first incident and tried scoping out the area just to see what he could eventually take. Glass everywhere. Um, my, my building was, uh, was ransacked. Everything that I worked hard to put in here, it was kind of just thrown everywhere. Targeted. And you know, you I mean, everyone here knows she voted for this. Like, there's no fucking thing. We don't even have to debate that. I don't even have to say press one. It's a thousand percent she voted for this. She's a fucking sister. That's a 98 percentile chance right there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's a sister and she's in L.A. Like, that's a hundred percent chance. Did not once, but twice. Sharon Liebscher still gets emotional after her Riverside business was ransacked. And now she's out more than $40,000 because of stolen merchandise and costly repairs. The first one um, happened February uh, 22nd. I received a phone call from property management stating that my building had been uh, broken into. She arrived that day to find shattered glass and they took a, um, a lot of high end um, merchandise, clothing, handbags, a lot of jewelry, um, some uh, old coins. She says they even used her own boxes to load items from her business, Annie Roosters, Sally Ann's antiques, collectibles and more. I had uh, boxes of uh, estate jewelry. So she installed a ring camera, but that didn't deter thieves. Last Friday, just after 4 a.m., firing what's believed to be a BB gun into Sharon's newly repaired glass door didn't cut it in shattering the glass. Two men break through the neighboring window. Moments later, they come with bags full of items and exit through the same window. I put my heart and soul into this to, to have some strangers come in and ruin it. This is, is uh, pretty devastating. Riverside police say they don't know whether it's the same thieves who targeted her business the first time, but Sharon believes they are. She says they will not take her joy away, but she wants them to know. You really hurt people when you do things like this. I'm not rich. You know, I have a family. I have children. I have bills to pay just like everyone else. And today, while we were here, Sharon had an alarm system being installed. She's also set up a GoFundMe page in case any somebody says Artifact says she seems cool. Yeah, she seems cool, but if she moved to fucking goddamn Montana or fucking Utah or fucking Idaho, she'd be talking about it, y'all a bunch of fucking racists. Y'all microaggressive and tone deaf, and there's not enough diversity, and your cops are fucking racist. Yeah, she Facts. seems cool. She seems cool until she fucking comes to your fucking place where you live at, and you start seeing all the fucking warts. Anyone would like to help, you can find more information on our website, ktla.com. In the meantime, Riverside Police are describing those two suspects that you saw in that video as two Hispanic males in their 20s or 30s. Anyone with information is asked to contact. The old Brito's got her. Damn. She voted for it, man. Back Riverside Police. Reporting live in Riverside, I'm Shelby Nelson.